Let's warm up today for the Carol of the Bells on the D minor melodic scale. We're going to play with all four articulations. First articulation is a simple bow. The second articulation will be pizzicato. The third articulation will be ponticello, which is a very light stroke where you're not exciting the fundamental. Lots of light stroke, even with the side of the hair, very much on the side. And then, of course, collegno, where you flip the bow around, tap close to the bridge so you can get a nice sound close to the bridge. If you tap too far away, you don't get much of the sound. So close to the bridge, and I recommend you hold the bow like this. Take your bow, flip it over. Yes, we're doing two different styles. We're playing pizzicato to bow, so that's one transition, and we're playing collegno to ponticello. Let's begin with the more simple arco to ponticello, with the D minor melodic. And we're going to play this at 112 beats a minute. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four. Now let's play pizzicato style. Are you ready? One, two, one, two, three, go. My recommendation for playing pizzicato styles is take your thumb Place it on the side of the fingerboard and use your index finger to pluck the strings. One, two, three, four, one, two, here we go. Next, we try to do the very fancy collegno style. So again, tap near to the bridge. Good luck. This at 112. One, two, three, four, one, two, D minor. Second time. One, two, three, four, one, two, here we go. And the last stroke is the ponticello. So very light, use a lot of bow. And don't excite the fundamental play near the bridge. It creates a sort of airy, very airy sound. Okay? Lots of pressure, I mean, lots of bow, little pressure. One, two, three, four, one, two, here we go. Again, two, three, four, one, two, here we go. Now we're going to bump up the 
speed to 132, which is the all tempo. And we're going to go in reverse. We're going to go in reverse now with the bow strokes with the D minor melodic. Here we go. So we're going to play to the quarter note. So, and then we're going to play, if you can, to the eighth note. So we're going to double the speed the second round. So the that will be the second time. First time with a quarter, second time, double the speed. Try it, okay? One, two, one, two, with the quarter. Ponticello. Now, let's do Ponticello style with the eighth note. One, two, here we go. Let's try it again. One, two, three, Ponticello, two, ready, go. Okay, now we won't try the con legno at that speed because it's too fast. So we'll just do con legno, regular to the quarter note. Flip your bow around. One, two, here we go. I'll do better this time. One, two, here we go. song which right here we're gonna play the different sections real quick eight times eight times and of course this right here since we're doing the scales let's go in reverse and I'm going to play this right here scale going up da, 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 da. let's set it at the metronome speed we just played it at which is 132 and if you need to slow this video down to 75%, you can certainly do that, or any slower. We're gonna start 
33, 34, 35, 36. The ascending D minor melodic. <laughs> Yes, my counsel for playing this is keep the bow on the string. Keep the bow on the string, nice and short, glued to the string. One, two, three, one, ready, go. Now your cello should start feeling that it's warmed up. One, two, three, one fourth time. And the fifth time. One, two, three, one, ready, go. Go on. Take it to the end. All right. So that's one thing I want you to always remember is the fifth time, continue. Fifth time, continue. All right, next part would be this alternative fingering that I have right here. You may play this with the extension. You can play it both times. You don't have to play it the second time only. You can play it the first time and the second time. Or you can do the string cross. It's really up to you. And it makes a difference because it really does make a difference. You remain all on the D string instead of doing a quick string crossing, which is this one here. Again, you may play them both the same way, or you can choose one or the other, but don't change it. I just have the fingers in different spots just to show you. This is the other fingering. requires a quick little flick of the wrist to make the string cross to the A right here in this measure. I'm going to opt to play the extended um, upper second position from 25 to 32 because it just seems to be a little more better for me. 1, 2, 25, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Ha. <laughs> I have to remember to do it. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 1, ready, go. Second time, one, two, three, one, ready, go. Third time, one, two, three, one, ready, go. Oh. <laughs> See, that's the problem. You should always, you should always have the same finger on both sides. Take a, do as I say, not as I do, right? <laughs> Don't make that mistake, okay. Third time. One, two, three, one, ready, go. Nice. Fourth time. One, two, three, one, ready, go. to the end. One, two, three, one, ready, go. to 
survive to the end, you remain on the top parts. I will play the bottom parts. Okay? 25 to the end. Play your part. Count. Don't mess up. <laughs> All right? One, two, three. One, two, three. I'll play the bottom part. 25 to the end. One, two, three. One, ready, go. <laughs> of it is very straightforward. You do have an opportunity, going back to the first part here, to play an extended upper second position because maybe at this speed you will find the string cross to be a little, well, you may find the string cross at this speed to be a little difficult. So this is why it's from 17 to 24. I opt for the, to the upper, upper second position, extended upper second position. Okay? You just have to make your intonation needs to be perfect, spot on. One, two, three. We're going to play 17 to 25. If you want to try this, fingering with me. One, two, three. One, two, three. The last time you play this, if you're going to do this fingering, you must shift to the first position there for the F natural to drop the D right in place. I repeat, you must shift to the F natural to the last note of 24 in order to hit the D natural in 25. Do so it again. One, two, three. One, two, three, one, ready, go. That's how it is. Let's do it again. One, two, three, one, ready, go. Here. Okay, it's really quick. It goes right to that transition. Let's practice the transition. Let's practice the transition from 17 to 26, 7, 8. 17 to 28. 1, 2, 3. If you're wondering where we're at in the music, 17 to 28. That's where we are. 17 to 28. Let's do it in purple. 17 to 28. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, go. <laughs> That's it. One, two, three, one, two, three. Let's do it again. One, two, three, one, ready, go. Try to integrate all that together and let's play all the way doo -doo -doo -doo, up to here. So we're going to play 17 up to 30, 
four, five, six. Seventeen to thirty-six. One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> tapping the pedal on you right there that was silly let's now play from the beginning from the beginning okay I think you know your part so I'm gonna play my part duet three times you're gonna hear my part play your part I play part two you play part one I want to count one two three and a one two three and we'll go okay so I'm gonna one two three one, two, three, boom. Okay, I play on the third beat, you play on the first beat. Let's silence on my part. Here we go. One, two, three, one, ready. Boom. I hope you got that cue. I'm going to explain that one more time, okay? So I'm going to count it's called two measures for free you'll get two measures one two three one ready and I won't say anything for measure th the third beat of the second free measure and then you're gonna come on one so you're gonna hear one two three one ready boom that's you timing super important here we go one two three one two right away sorry <laughs> one two three one ready Try it again. And I won't mess up on my cue. One, two, three, one. Ah, there we go. One, two, three, one, ready. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, one, ready. Thank you. 
style of playing it creates a pretty cool effect that was just for fun for that one and that is a full warm-up and full now if you're ready click record and record your part at 132 and I hope this helps <laughs> 